Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. If you are new to the channel, a big warm welcome to you. In today's episode, we will look at some of our favorite food finds at Taste of Epcot's International Festival of the Arts. Let us know in the comments down below which ones are your favorites as we make our way to the World Showcase. First of all, I have to say we literally need to stop and check out these flowers. I love how vibrant these are and give me such that warm, happy feeling as we make our way in. They are just amazingly beautiful and have gorgeous colors. Taste of Epcot International Festival of the Arts is celebrating five years! Another fun thing to check out here are these butterfly prints that were placed on these boards. It is a pretty cool photo opportunity for people of all ages. Alright, let's head on over to the chalk art now. We don't want to miss this. I am in awe how perfect these look while I could barely draw on paper, much less on the ground and with chalk. These artists have done an amazing job. I love watching and looking at 3D art from other artists that were done all around the world. I am so happy that Disney brought this type of art to the festival. It is so cool how you can even stand on it and become part of the picture. They even left us a note saying that you can pose on the table to look like you are crashing the tea party. Like jumping in the pink pudding it says. Pretty awesome! Now without further ado, let's get started on my most favorite part of the festival, the food! First off, let's check out Canada's kitchen titled The Masterpiece Kitchen. Last year we tried the vanilla rose water and pistachio panna cotta and loved the refreshing taste and wow, I loved that one! This time we wanted to try the salmon and cream gateau. It has egg yolk cream, paddlefish caviar, and micro herbs. It was so creamy overall. The sauce on the inside was so nice and I love the bit of crunch from the sides and the juices from that caviar. A nice way to start off. Come on in with us to the World Showplace Events Pavilion. There you will find a variety of artwork and sometimes the artists themselves for art signing, a pianist and four different kitchens for more tasteful adventures. I saw they had Remy's Ratatouille on their festival passport and that reeled me in. Let's see if we can catch one ourselves. So, if we want to grab a Remy's Ratatouille, we will find it here at the first kitchen called Festival Favorites. Here, the Blue Sky Black Cherry Boba Freeze also caught my eye. It is a non-alcoholic drink and the flavors were so delightful. You have that icy fruitiness from the black cherry and juices just bursting in your mouth from the boba when popped in your mouth. Amazing and so fun to drink! Alright, now let's get to what we came here for. Remy's Ratatouille comes with eggplant, zucchini, yellow squash, tomatoes, and red pepper piperad. This was so well done! The juices were just flowing and every bite was as good as the next one. Oh goodness, wow! 
Speaking of Remy, I can't wait to ride their new attraction in France and see this beautiful area when finished. This ride is already operating in their Disneyland Paris theme park in France and it looks so good. Let us know which new ride are you most excited about. I love to hear from you. If you are wondering which kitchen in the participating Festival of the Arts kitchens is my personal favorite, it is this one right here. Located right between France and Morocco is Vibrante and Vivido Food Studio. This is the art festival's newest kitchen and worth the try. Here we have the coconut and passion fruit smoothie. It is nice and very cool. It is non-alcoholic as well and like a thick cream consistency that melts in your mouth. It is very refreshing on a hot day. It also comes in this fun takeaway plastic cup that you can take home and reuse. We also grabbed the blue corn pupusa. This is stuffed with cheese and topped with shredded pork. They had me at the cheese and shredded pork quite honestly. This dish also has guajillo and arbo chile sauce, which gives it a nice bit of a kick. It also has cabbage slaw and ají amarillo crema. Needless to say, it is a bit spicy but enjoyable. The dish is also gluten and wheat friendly too, which is nice. This next dish will have your taste buds go wild. The chilled seafood cocktail comes with octopus, scallops, shrimp, black garlic aioli, tomato coconut sauce, and serrano lime oil. The seafood was very well cooked and you have sauces to mix and match and combine the different flavors and textures with each seafood. For sweetness, we got the passion fruit mousse that is filled inside with dragon fruit jam. This definitely made my top favorite dishes from the art festival. It is almost like a jello creamy consistency, kind of like a cheesecake texture. It sits very nicely on a rectangular soft biscuit that crumbles in your mouth and topped with a vibrant mask with feathers fondant-like shaped decoration. Wow, what a treat! At Pop Eats in the Showcase Plaza near Disney Traders, we have the shrimp ceviche that comes with lime mint foam. I am a ceviche lover and this came as an eye-opening surprise for me because it actually tasted very sweet as opposed to the salty ceviche I'm used to. This was really good to try and it had a cup full of juices. Now come follow along with us as we make our way and check out what else the art festival has to offer. In Future World West, near the land, we will find the expression section, a paint by number mural. We can leave our creative mark on a larger than life wall mural. In this stand, we will grab our sponge brush and a small paint container with a number. A cast member will then meet us in the queue. The mural has been sectioned off to keep parties together and safely distanced from other parties. Before designating us to our section of the mural, the cast member will make sure that our paint number is in our corresponding section of the mural. If it is not, the cast member will then give us a paint number that is. I really love the sunsets in Florida. It's beautiful. Throughout the art festival, we can also find these artful photo ops. We can step into some of the most admired artwork in these unique installations. So cool. Thank you for following along as we experience the wonderful flavors and entertainment at Taste of Epcot International Festival of the Arts. We hope you enjoyed. We love reading your comments as well. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. It really does help the channel. 
Also, click on the bell so you are notified when the next episode will be available. Well, until next time, we'll see you real soon!